All right, I'm gonna try to make this video so um, I can possibly get help diagnosing this um, like HVAC unit at my mom's uh, mobile home. So here's the deal. Um, I came to the house, I noticed, um, well, I was told by my mom that there was a burning smell and it was all around the house. So I just assumed um, if it's everywhere in the house, it's probably vents. So, and it's been summer, AC's probably been running quite a bit. So I come and I immediately check uh, the top of this unit, the filter. Usually has a screen here and all the panels on it, of course. And you just pull out and change the filter. I looked inside and I seen this filter. And if that tells you anything, it was clogged really bad and it was actually sucked down all the way down onto these condenser coil like fins. And um, at that point, I was really, uh, I knew something was bad because there was a burnt smell and she was completely clogged. For how long, I don't know. So I did my best. I come in here with a vacuum and a and a brush and tried to brush all these coils as clean as possible. I have a flashlight somewhere around here, but I got I got enough light to pretty much, you know, do the video here. So So we're going to go down here and I'm going to explain the steps that I took, you know. So after I changed this to a new filter, took that one out, spent about an hour vacuuming out all the dust, you know, and all the dirt and all the wet dust down on the fins and um, clean it up as best as possible. I come out to the outside unit and I actually took the garden hose and uh, you know I watched a couple of like HVAC videos and I sprayed off all the um, you know all the dirt and you know grass around the out the outdoor uh, you know condenser and fan you know so I just sprayed it all down it was pretty bad it was packed and I and I cleaned up some you know stuff around the unit itself all that grass and yeah yeah so at that point you know i think everything's clean and then we're gonna try it out so i come in and um i noticed the oh i guess i'll come down here first of all at the very bottom you notice some burn marks on this this little like like padding it's insulation padding down the bottom um it was actually you know pushed up maybe sucked up with all the pressure i don't know sucked up onto those leads and then i noticed this lead was was really burnt so i you know i went to pull it off and um it was and it actually just disintegrated so i immediately replaced it with a new uh with a new connector and put it back on there and there's another one that where it was touching but the connector was fine you know and this unit never turned off you know the fan it just stayed on it was on it was on auto it's supposed to turn off after a couple of minutes or whatnot and it just never turned off and just never turns off even to this moment so i'm going to repeat the steps i take i know the condenser outside is turning on pretty sure we can go out there and listen to it once i repeat the steps here so here is a honeywell thermostat some light in here honeywell thermostat and the heat's all the way turned down you know this is set to auto the fan i have the breaker off at the bottom of the fan over there so um, of the blower motor and it is set to cool at this point i had it off but it's at cool right now and um in a minute once i turn the so i'm gonna end up turning this down into a cooling mode probably 65 ish because it's it's actually pretty cool in the trailer right now um so we get on down here and i'm gonna actually turn back on the fan it'll immediately kick on because i think uh something burnt like the sequencer which is possibly out i was looking it looks like i can replace that on ebay for about 18 bucks sequencer um and uh, i might even replace down there that limit switch because of the burnt but i don't even know that's not even the the button above it it's that little brown board at the bottom that's that's uh burnt and anyway so we get back up here like as of right now if i just leave it as is the fan will just stay on permanently 
So I think there's something to do with either that limit switch or the sequencer. And that's just that portion of it. But I don't believe that has anything to do with why it's blowing. And right now it's just blowing heat, heat out the vents. So there is a breaker. But I don't know if this breaker has anything to do with the AC or not. But I turn it on anyway just to make sure. Even though it says it's an AC breaker, but they probably installed this after that. I don't know. So at that point, we did all that. That's on. So I'm going to go out and I'm going to turn on the, the cooler. The cooling portion or the condenser. So I turn it down and it will definitely kick on about 66 let's go out there bam it's on but i'm gonna go out there so we can hear it on the video you can hear the fan i definitely hear something in there i hear the condenser I don't see anything iced up. I'm going to come out here and pull this panel in a little bit. Both of these panels and see what I can see. But as of right now, it sounds like a condenser sound without question. That's not just the fan. That's definitely condenser. Okay. Then we'll come back inside and we'll notice these, uh, these coils will start to cool up and they'll actually turn white and inside all the like aluminum louvers or fins or whatever they actually turn completely white I don't know if that's normal operating procedure or not but they do turn white and when I turn it off they actually uh, you know they're back to normal within about a minute so I would assume that's okay so at this point, we still have the fact that the fan does never turns off. It just stays running like constantly the fan or the mower, the blower motor. And, um, and we always have warm air, hot air, like heater air coming out of the vents. Out of that vent, what the really strange part is you get a little bit deeper away from it to one of these other vents. It's actually, uh, you know, cooler air, not cold air, but cooler and um, definitely not hot air like that vent. So then we turn it off, everything heads back to normal. So I don't wanna make this video much longer than it needs it to be, but that pretty much explains everything. You know, the little burnt boards underneath those limit switches. And a buddy of mine told me it's probably, I need to change out my sequencer. And um, yeah, and, I, and the blower motor is obviously working great. Doesn't seem to be hot at all. Nice cool air. You know, I'm sure it's supposed to be cold air that blows in there because I think the way this works is these cool off. It sucks the cool air. It, it sucks the, you know, indoor house air like in here comes out nice and cold and blows it out the vents, you know, from this blower motor. I'm pretty sure that's how it works. So uh, yeah, I'm just trying to, you know, if it's a backed up video a little bit, you know, you got the, you got the, new air filter takes the house air from in here sucks it down into this uh, coil condenser um, you take this cool air from in here it goes into the blower motor and it sucks back out the vents in the house the blower motor and um, so if I cover this panel up it, I might get some cool air like coming out the vents but I don't know it was it just seemed like all heat coming out those vents so I don't know how this wouldn't be because it's nice and cold in here and, it, and it's loop cold, it's, you know, the air is not bad, but I think it's just getting the air from in the house right now because there's no panel on this. And, um, but yeah, it was still like blowing nice hot air out there. All right, guys, it's a long video. I hope that explains everything. Thank you.